It is with great pleasure and honor that I extend a warm appreciation to my dear General Mhuzi, the Ugandan Chief of Defense Force, for initiative, initiation accorded to me to visit this beautiful country. I also thank you for your gracious hospitality to me and my delegation here in Uganda. The areas that later came to be known as Uganda and Ethiopia have been linked for the past 2,000 years. We know from history that there was trade going on with the Aksum Empire as far back as 100 AD. The cultural and genetic links with Ethiopia are too many uh, to enumerate. So the relationship is first and foremost one of blood and one of a long shared history. Whenever I go to Ethiopia, I have problems because everybody speaks to me in Amharic or, or Oromo, thinking I'm from there. Of course, the Uganda People's Defense Force and the Ethiopian National Defense Force have a history of cooperation and mutual support, influenced by our respective national interests and the regional security dynamics. We remember uh, fondly our joint operations with our Ethiopian brothers in 1995 and 1996 against Bashir's Sudan Armed Forces, SAF, and the Lord's Resistance Army. Of course, in more recent times, both Uganda and Ethiopia have contributed troops to various African Union and United Nations peacekeeping missions, particularly in Somalia, under the African Union mission in Somalia, and uh, now the African Transitional Mission in Somalia, ATMIS. Uh, our, our involvement in Am AMISOM and ATMIS has, necess has necessitated close coordination and collaboration between our two militaries. The UPDF and ENDF continue to engage in military training exchanges and we are very grateful for this. I would like to take this opportunity to also formally invite Ethiopian officers to participate in some of our courses here in Uganda as well. Uh, just like other East African uh, countries are doing. Diplomatically, Uganda and Ethiopia have maintained good relations uh, which have positively influenced our military cooperation. High-level visits such as this one that you have take, uh, undertaken uh, and bilateral talks between military leaders from both countries reinforce these ties. Both our countries are members of the Intergovernmental inter Authority on Development, IGAD, and the African Union. Our participation in these organizations often bring us together to address regional uh, security challenges. The UPDF and ENDF need to co uh, coordinate efforts in response to regional conflicts and crises. We stood side by side, united in our quest for freedom and independence, and his, this shared history has forged a deep bond between our two countries. In this post-colonial era, our cooperation has been growing stronger. We have worked together on numerous initiatives, including a 
<coughs> memorandum of understanding on defense cooperation that focuses on areas such as the military training, technical cooperation, and the exchange of essential information. This collaboration have enhanced our military capability and strengthens our bilateral ties. Our partnership extends to international peacekeeping operations, not, uh, notably in the Somalia, where Ethiopia and Uganda troops have stood shoulder to shoulder in the fight against terrorism and extremism. Our joint efforts to maintain peace and stability in the region have been commendable and, and they serve as a statement to our shared commitment to promoting peace and security. Furthermore, we have made significant strides in working towards the establishment of an East Africa standby force, a regional initiative aimed at enhancing our collective security and response capability. By joining hands and pooling our resources, we are paving the way for a more secure and a prosperous future for the entire East Africa region. I believe that this visit will provide us with an opportunity to further strengthen our cooperation and explore new avenue of partnership. partnership. Together, we can continue to build our shared history, deepen our mutual understanding and the work towards a brighter and a more secure future for our nation and the region as a whole. I look forward to the fruitful discussion and cooperation that will result from this visit and I'm confident that our joint efforts will contribute to the peace stability and prosperity of our region. Finally, the two defense forces must continue to collaborate and form strong strategic alliance in order to promote regional and international peace and security as well as maintain their ongoing strong commitments. We must mobilize bilateral and multilateral resources to form a strong alliance that will benefit both our respective national interests and the region's overall peace and security.